What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today I will compare two recent sets that have one particular thing in common, both of them has the Black Falcons. This is the 31120 Creator Medieval Castle and this is the 21325 Ideas Medieval Blacksmiths. So both of them are medieval sets, both of them has the Black Falcons, they should be pretty similar, right? Well, not exactly. I already talked about the Creator Castle in details, if you did not see my review video then I will link it in the top right corner. This is a 9 plus set with 1426 pieces and the price is $100 or euros. Now let's focus a bit on the Ideas set. This one has an 18 plus age rating, although nowadays all Ideas sets have this rating regardless of the theme of the set, even this one which does not really make sense. That will be a different video anyway, so let's move on. So it is 18 plus, it has 2164 pieces and the price is $150 or euros. So 50% more bricks for 50% higher price, seems to be pretty fair so far. In the instructions you can see a little introduction from Clemens, the designer of the original submission and you can also see his original concept as well. There were quite a few changes but I think the overall character of the building was well preserved. We also get an introduction from the LEGO designers who worked on the project and then a little history of the different LEGO blacksmith sets released since 1984 and some cool details highlighted from the most recent one. I won't show the building process in details, but I want to show how the build started. The base is made of several different plates, but it is a single piece now and it is quite sturdy. We get many different colors, mostly natural ones. The leaves were quite a challenge to differentiate as there are three different shades of green and the identification is not trivial based on the manual. There are some nice node building techniques used, and here is one cool feature, the light up brick used for the forge. So here is the first floor completed, suddenly there are plenty of things to look at. The forge is now completed, and there's a cool bellows that you need to push, it's a nice simulation of the air pumping that it represents. There's an anvil outside with the barrel that holds the swords, but there's also an anvil inside and tons of other details belonging to the blacksmith shop. There's also a storage for the logs under the stairs, a nice and detailed apple tree and a well. There's a small garden with the pumpkins growing on the other side of the building and the bone for the dog. The middle floor is the kitchen and the dining area, again with several tools and lots of details. I really like the construction of the chairs using the X pieces and the pattern on them. The fireplace is also brilliant, we have some food cooking, the fire burning, very nice. The top floor with the roof looks amazing, I love all the details with the missing tiles and the green moss on the top. The access to the interior is very simple, we can easily remove this side of the roof. There are again some lovely details with the bed, the brick built bear rug, or the corner where our talented blacksmith is apparently writing some stories, quite unusual. There's an extra build besides the building itself, we get a nice wagon with a horse, the blacksmith can use this to go to the market to sell his products. We get 4 minifigures. And now let's put them side by side with the ones from the castle, because I think there's a hidden easter egg here. Do you see it? Let me help by rearranging the characters a bit. I think that the ones from the idea set are actually the older versions of the folks from the castle. The blacksmith has now a long beard, the male soldier became much older as he has grey hair, and we get the female soldier as well. There's one extra archer character in the idea set who might be the wife of the blacksmith, and they also got a dog. The black falcon torso design is the same just like the print on the shield, but the accessories are quite different. So how do these sets really compare to each other? Let's see the similarities first. The shared theme is obvious and there are also many similar details. We have similar soldiers, the blacksmith and also a lot of matching details like the blacksmith shop and even smaller ones like the target for the archer, the well, the chest and so on. But as you see, almost everything that is similar has a more detailed version in the IDS set. One of the main differences is the ease of access, and this is pretty well represented with the age rating. I think the creator set was really designed to be easily playable and accessible with the opening sections that can be also detached. I think the effort is also there in the IDS set with the removal of floors and the roof, but it is definitely less playable than the castle. The bottom two floors are quite crowded to be played with a minifig, Probably the top one is the best from this perspective. The set has tons of details, but for me it feels rather like a detailed diorama that you admire than a playset. And I think this really represents the fundamental difference, 
The Creator set really focuses on the play experience with the accessible details and with the other two variations to build. Meanwhile, the idea set is all about the tiny details and the cool building techniques. I definitely don't say that it is not playable, but I think the primary focus was not on that. Regarding the minifigs, we get one more in the set that is more expensive. There's also a dog and a horse, although the castle has the dragon and the poultry, so the animals are more or less even. I think this amount is okay for the idea set, but the castle would definitely deserve more. There's one additional thing I should mention. Thanks to the solid base, this building is way more sturdy than the castle, it's much easier to pick up and move around. The attachment points on the castle give you some false impression of stability, but in reality they can detach any time, and the result is something like this. The castle is really better to be transported with the main chunks detached. So, which one should you get? Well, if you like medieval sets, especially the Black Falcons, and you have the budget, then I would recommend both. If you need to choose between them, then I would decide based on the target audience. This one for kids or playing with kids, and this one for the building experience or to put it on display. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and tap the notification bell to see my upcoming LEGO reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye.